from the RMT. <laughs> Comrades, brothers and sisters, I don't think we need to waste our time here tonight to know the reasons why that the government today made the decisions to make working people pay for the failure of capital. That is known. All I know in society, if you do something wrong, then those people are the people who get punished, not the person next door. All we keep on getting told is that someone's run the credit card up and now we've got to pay it back. But it's a bit different than someone running the credit card up. It's a bit like someone nicking your credit card and running it up and now we've got to pay it back. And the reality is pretty simple, brothers and sisters. This has got nothing to do with some kind of paying your debts back at the end of the week. This is about the right-wing onslaught of smashing the welfare state up as a result of that, taking the trade union numbers down and making them into a weaker number. Now we've got an opportunity here, brothers and sisters, either to sit back and say that we've got to pay the debt back, and yes, it's a tough old life, or we stand up and fight. And our job at the end of the day of the trade union is not just to be concerned about the pay and the conditions of the jobs of the industry that we're actually working, but we have to make sure that we link up to the communities and those people that use those services as well. And the issue is pretty clear. We've got the People's Charter that irons out an alternative in the defence of social policies, and we know how to put the alternative regarding paying this debt back. We need to go here tonight and reach out into every single community, every house in the state, and say that we ain't paying the debt for the rich and the bankers and all those swimming around on these non-taxable islands. I'm fed up with the back teeth of people saying to me, strangers are the only people that sit on housing estates. I'll tell you a better way to sit over housing estates with a pair of binoculars to see if someone's got a living lover is to get out to the Cayman Islands and get out to the Isle of Man and shut those bank accounts for the rich that put us into this position. And therefore, brothers and sisters, I'll wind up by saying this. It's no good to see you see another trade union saying it's a tough old life. Of course it's a tough old life. But if you're well heel General Secretary, now's the test of your mettle. You've got to get out there and ask your members to fight, and not just fight, to be part of it, and be leaders, leaders of trade unions, and take what it deserves, and to stop the massive attacks that are going to take place from. Solidarity, brother, let's read the resistance, build this resistance up, and by doing that, we'll lead working people into a better generation. Thank you. I should mention at this point that the RMT are calling a march this Saturday against the cuts going from Charlton Street to the TUC to give the